you guys got less than one week left to win one of the rarest cars Subaru has ever made. I've got a link for you guys in the top of the description. If you guys want some merch, we've got it for you. We've got some new drop and some really cool deals for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You go to the top of the description, check out the merch, and enjoy the video. This is a fifth generation Shanks, or fourth generation, maybe fifth, generation Shanks Christmas cookie. I will never sell or tell how these are made, but they are incredible. And now that Thanksgiving's over, we're allowed to indulge in Christmas things. By the way, you're not allowed to play Christmas music until after Thanksgiving. I don't care what anybody thinks or who needs to hear this right now, but stop. Christmas is after Thanksgiving. We do have some insane sales at 5-3 Supply and you've only got this weekend left to win the STI. So make sure you go ahead, grab your entries. I wanna show you guys something before I get going here. Look at how amazing this R33's body kit looks, right? Do you wanna know what this body kit is made out of? Fiberglass. Do you wanna know what holds this body kit on? Rivets. Do you wanna know what you can't see? when the product is done, fiberglass or rivets. If you install a body kit correctly, you'll never be able to tell that it is a wide body. And I absolutely love molded body kits. This body kit's riveted up here and here, all throughout down here and uh, all back here. But if you use the right hardware and you do the right things, a wider body can always look good. Now, if you just bolt it on and you're lazy with it, you know, it's just gonna look like you bolted on a body kit. That's not what we're doing with the Subaru, also with the Evo. Like that's, that's molded, that's rivets. We did it right and that's what we're doing with my STI. If you guys have watched for a while, you'll know that a few years ago I had an Evo 10 and um, I always wanted to do a wide body on this car. Now I couldn't afford it, but I got rid of this car and then when I could end up doing it, I did it on the Evo 10. I kind of lived out my Subaru dreams with that Evo 10 because I ended up doing a bigger turbo on it. I did wide body, I did my three piece wheels, but now it's time to do it on the car that I always wanted to do it on. There has been one very specific, and you can, you can call it what you want, over fenders, fender flares. If it makes the body wider, guess what? It's a wide body. It's a wider body. You can call it a wide body, it's okay. There's one, and I mean one set of fenders that I've liked for this car for the longest time. And I don't know if I've ever seen them molded onto the car, but we're gonna be doing it. We're test fitting these today. My favorite of all time, they're the HT Auto fender flares. I am doing, like I said, everything little mini Evan would have wanted to do. I'm gonna finish up this cookie, and then we'll unbox it. I'll show you what they are. Woo! Oh, cool, okay. Well, that's it. All right, guys, see you next video. We're done. What? Dang. So this kit comes with something we're not gonna use. These are cool, and this is what I use for my AMG, but uh, I don't want to see the hardware on this. So, we're gonna be using countersunk rivets. Actually, you don't need to use a countersunk with these because we're gonna be body working over these, so I actually don't need to even do all the extra work and effort for the countersink. But these are really simple. These are HT Auto. I know they're fender flares, but this is the best way to wide body a GR hatch or sedan. These flare out the fenders about 50 millimeters. Now my three my three piece wheels are not finished yet, but because it's gonna be pretty close to the same spec, a little bit wider actually, we're gonna be using the wheels from my Evo 8 today to test fit these. One of the things I've wanted to do for just such a long time is get rid of obviously my stock fenders. It's These are pulled about as far as they really can be without making them just completely bacon and, and disgusting. These are pulled out, but now just molding something larger onto it. Now, which one's right front? Get out of here. And we're also gonna be cutting them to where it actually like, hold on. I'm gonna have Jose cut them to where they actually will fit on the front bumper as well. So it'll actually be molded to the front bumper and, uh, and not just one a one piece thing. There are a couple really cool cars out there with this, with these fenders too. And they look amazing, but oh golly, dude. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so sick. Jose's definitely gonna have a little bit of work to do. He's gonna have to end up making it a part of the side skirt and a part of the rear fender and 
a part of the rear bumper, but it's all gonna be worth it. I'm just gonna send it and start drilling, boys. You can see here, this fender was super dented, so that's one reason why I'm just like, I don't really care, I'm gonna do this anyways. This fender needs a whole bunch of repair anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. I'm gonna try and line it up as best as I can with the fender line. Okay, I'd say about right here we're looking good. Probably about right there, yeah. Got me a little pick right there in the middle. Okay, so this is obviously super simple. Um, I like fenders like this, like stuff like this, Carlton flares. They're easy to oh, hello. install because you really just kind of follow the body lines of the car. This will have to, this STI badge will probably have to be cut into and modified. And then uh, there will have to be a cut around here and then also a cut around here to separate the bumper from the fender. A lot of people will just do riv nuts or whatever, just bolt it on from here. But uh, I really, like I said, I want this to be a, like a multi-piece kit. It actually fits pretty well and it's going to be molded onto the car so that's going to help. I'm going to get all the fenders on with Clico pins and then I'm going to do a test of fitment with the Evo wheels. Those are 18 by 10 and a half plus 12 I think around there and uh, the ones I'm getting made for this are like 18 by 10 and a half minus three <laughs> so it's going to be insane. Also big thanks to Accelera Tire. It's our new sponsors. Look at the 651s we got. Look at the 651 sports we got. By the way, I have a discount code for you guys at Tire Streets. It's in the description. They have a 30 day drive and decide or something like that policy where it's like, if you don't like the tires that you get from Tire Streets, you can send them back. That is insane. That is the coolest thing ever. I've never heard of any company doing that. Here is the stock body. Now on the other side, these are not the wheels that I'm gonna be running on the car again. These are the Evo's wheels. This wheel and tire spec were made for the Evo. Different wheel and tire spec. This is a 295 on a 10 and a half with a plus 12 offset. So 15 millimeters more of poke, but a 285 instead. So you got this right here and we're gonna end up lowering the car and changing the alignment as well. But then you got this right here with all the meats. I've wanted to put some big meats on this car for a long time. Dude, look at this. And yes, I am gonna end up getting maybe a full diffuser, but different rear spats. But look at the freaking, look at the freaking meat on this baby. Look at the freaking meats. The way that these flares go with the body is just perfect to me. I've always loved the way these work. Also, I'm not gonna give away too much, but I mean, my, the wheels I'm putting on this car gonna be, I, so sick. Little baby Evan gonna be kicking and screaming when he's doing that. But this is, looks so, so good. I mean, I love having such a wide tire. And the reason why I wanted to do this wing is because I knew I was gonna be doing the wider body. It's hard to pull off this wing with no flares or no wide body. Dude, it just looks so freaking insane. 295 on the back. Take a good gander from this side, okay? Now we're gonna go to this little side. It is a little limpy. It is just a little limpy. Now we're gonna go back to the other side. Boom! Damn! Woo! I, it's crazy, dude. Like, I've got like zero camber because they ruined my corner balance whenever they, he owned this car last. So, like, we'll probably do a little, we'll probably do a, a good amount of camber on the front and a good amount of camber on the rear. And it's like the fitment is gonna be freaking insane, dude. So wild. I'm gonna just finish up this side and then drive it outside to kind of get a good 
walk around and that'll be as simple as that goes today. I'll end up cutting the fenders, but I don't like showing that part because people just whine about it. And like, we don't need that. We don't need none of that negativity. It's the holidays, boys. Cheerful, happy. <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> Let me just look at it for a minute. Let me just go look at it. Ooh, ah. Uh. Hey, so I'm also gonna be getting a, uh, a full lift kit around the car. This is just the beginning. The plan is SEMA. That's like everybody who buys a Miata be like, nah, I'm just kidding though. But uh, I'll go ahead and turn the car off real quick and uh, show it off. Guys, look at this freaking booty. God dang. Look at this. This is not natural. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so yeah, side skirts, front lip, and then rear spats as well. I'm gonna be end up getting with the. T I mean, I I've, I've wanted to fit 295s or 285s on this car since I got it. You guys know I always loved the meats. I always had a pretty thick setup for stock body, but I always wanted to go beyond stock body. So these are my signature wheels from Heritage. These are a uh, 16 inch or no 16 inch faces and 18 inch step lips. I think um, so. It goes up to 18. Pretty wild, but that's not gonna be the final. The final wheel. This is gonna be close to the fitment. These tires are actually a little bit low. This is gonna be close to the fitment. It's gonna be a little bit lower, and then I'm gonna have a little bit more camber, a little more negative camber, uh, stickier tire than this with a really cool tread on it. Again, this was just for my daily, for when I'm driving around the Evo, when it drives eventually, which I will have an update for you guys on that. <laughs> Hopefully very soon. I love the way that the, I mean, dude, this isn't even molded yet. I haven't put anything on it. Like, honestly, if I just had these painted, this color and then polish them, I could just go ahead and rivet them on and drive around like today. Super easy, but we're not gonna do that. This is going to be molded to the car and you're not going to even be able to tell that this fender is for one, bolted to the car or two, not a part of the original car. The whole idea is that you're gonna body work this, fill in this gap, fill in all these gaps and make it look like it's actually a part of the fender. So we're gonna make it look so, so cool. Jose, as you guys know, does such a good job about that. I'm really impressed with how this uh, lines up just with a stock body. I mean, these are HT Auto, I think did a great job, but like there's no gaps in it. It's honestly, it's a really simple uh, material, but it works, uh, it works really freaking well. Guys, I don't usually like fender flares, but for some reason this exact flare has been like my favorite look for the STI. There's one guy out there and his is, he actually follows me on Instagram and his is purple. Can't remember his Instagram name. I'm really sorry if you're watching this. Um, I don't remember your name on Instagram, but he did a great job. Like his looks so good. His looks amazing. I think his is bolted on though. Again, we're gonna body work ours on to where it doesn't look like it was ever bolted ever. Just like my R33 and my Evo. I think what's hard about these stages, and I've done this guys, I've done this for a long time. I've done YouTube for a long time. I've done a lot of wide body kits. This stage, so many people just have such, the people. So, there's so many people out there that have no vision for anything. And so it's so easy to look at this and be like, well that just looks like you put some cheap fender flares on. Well guess what, I did. But the not cheap part and the way to make it look good is by the amount of time and effort you put in to body working it and making it. Honestly, fenders shouldn't be expensive. I don't know why Origin and Charge Speed and everybody gets away with uh, <laughs> those prices, but like really it should be cheap and then the hard part should be making it look good. And that's kind of the point here. So um, the way that the wing, I can't really describe it. You guys can obviously see for yourselves, but the way that the wing, the height, the width, the fatness of that, these flares bring it together. It looks so money and with the skirts, and the you know the lip and everything like that on it it's going to bring the ground effects a little bit together and it's just going to look so good even the side profile on these flares look amazing whenever it's painted it'll kind of like re refract the light a little bit but it still goes with like the natural lines of the body like the subarus have such cool you know lines right here and then when you add another one here it looks really really sick at least to me and again it's my car so i'm gonna do what i want to do look at this that's one more time to the back oh golly that is thick that is so thick boy she thick thick as hell now i'll go ahead and put it on the on the lift and start chopping up i got another video for you guys on monday 
of something else. We're getting this going. I've got another thing that I've been wanting to do to it since uh, forever. We've got the parts. <laughs> this is about, it's about to go down. In case you don't know, I give daily advice on every video I make and I have for, I almost think it's been like four years now. It's been pretty awesome. God, it looks so good. Because it's the holidays, I know you guys are gonna be out and about probably seeing a lot of people in, in shopping malls and shopping centers and this or that, or just being online with some Christmas noobs on Call of Duty. Um, I, that's, that's kind of irrelevant. Guys, I want you to, um, to really focus hard on, especially this season, being kind. Um, what is, what, Something I think is really cool and a great way to just pay it forward in life and, and make sure that the world is a better place is find one person that you don't know today uh, and be ultra kind to them. Be kind to them. Be nice to them. Show affection in some way. Show gratefulness in some way. It could be the person uh, uh, checking out your groceries at the grocery store or you know at Best Buy or uh, the retail employee that's helping you out and making absolutely no commission and being overly stressed about his job, his or her job because of the, this, the holidays and being overworked. Could be you know the person working at a toll booth, I don't care. Find one person and if you find more than one, that's even better, but find somebody to just show kindness and love to today in a friendly way. So right now at 53supply.com, we've got all of our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales going. You do get double entries for the last weekend. We usually don't do that, but because it's Cyber Monday, Black Friday, um, we decided before we, the giveaway even began, we were going to offer that for you guys. So double entries, you also get 25%, I think everything on our site is 25% off except for the new merch and the mystery boxes. The mystery boxes, you have three different tiers to choose from. You can get like, I can't remember what all it is. We have so much stuff on our site right now. And then we've got the new merch. The new merch is merch that has been popular on the site before that sold out instantly. This is the last time we will ever bring those items back. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. Don't miss out again because we will not be bringing back any of these designs. I know a lot of you guys miss out on them. So now is your chance. Hope you guys love the STI. I sure do. We're gonna keep it going and make it look amazing. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. That was fast. Good, good fast talking, Evan. All right, uh, have an amazing day. I'm gonna go put this thing in on the lift and start, and start cutting up. Start cutting it up, fam. Have a, watch those two videos. Have a good weekend, bye.